Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your footer in MailChimp. Maybe the information that's in there is not correct and you need to know how to fix your default. I'm going to cover what legally needs to be there. Maybe there's a footer showing up in your emails and you don't know where it's coming from. I'll explain why that's happening and how to fix it. Don't worry, I've got you covered. First off, if the footer on your email looks like this and you can't figure out where to change it, it's because you didn't put in a footer yourself and so MailChimp is doing it for you. So let me show you how to have control over what this looks like. So this is the email that we were looking at before and as you can see, there's no footer information here. There's no unsubscribe link or mailing address. So the easiest way to add that in is with this little footer block right here. We're just gonna drag it over. And you wanna make sure that it is located in the bottom portion of your email in the section that's called footer. The look of your footer, the colors and font sizes and things are under this style tab right here. You would just click footer and that's where you would change those things. Also the referral badge, which is that MailChimp logo is housed right here. If you have a free program, you can choose which one you want or if you don't mind it having it there. If you're paying for your package, you can just turn that off right there. Now this default footer has a lot of these little pieces of code, which are called merge tags, which means they pull information from somewhere else. For instance, here where it says copyright, it has current year, so it'll just fill in the current year. It says company, it will fill in the name of your company. It will also fill in a description, which is like a little sentence of why someone is receiving these emails. Your mailing address, um, according to FCC regulations, you need to have a physical address on the bottom of all of your emails. That's a anti-spam regulation. I'll link to an article below if you wanna read a little bit more about it. And then there's a link to preferences, an unsubscribe link. Now you can switch out any of these merge tags for actual text if you would rather just type out what you want to have there. Let me show you how you can see what it's going to look like. You would go to preview mode, turn on this enable live merge tags, and then scroll down. And this is what your default will fill in as. Now let me show you where to find these defaults. The defaults for your footer actually live in the audiences menu. So you're gonna click audiences and then open this up right here. You're gonna to head to the settings menu, required email footer content. The first thing that you'll find here is a little sentence about how they ended up on your email list. Maybe they've done business with you in the past. Maybe they signed up on your website. Then down here, you'll just make sure that your business name is correct, your mailing address is correct. You'll save it and you're all set. Well, there we go. I hope you're able to straighten everything out with your footer. Um, if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. I post all sorts of videos about all kinds of MailChimp things, so check those out. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you around.